so <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering what this title was about but this video is going to be a story time video I've never done any of these before but I love watching them on YouTube and they're just fun like I feel like you get to know somebody in a different level or you get to like see or hear things that normally you know people wouldn't share with you guys you know how to start this story because everything was just kind of all over the place that I don't want to miss anything or like say something and it ruined the story or whatever the case may be but we'll start it off like this okay so we'll start with the first incident one day I was at Walmart and I was walking with a really good friend of mine we're walking through Walmart and then I see these two guys so the two guys kind of like bump into me and then like I turned around and I was like that's weird you know so then you know when people used to be like loser you know like they used to do that cough well the guy was like slut and then I was I was like so confused I was like what the fuck I was like did that just did that guy just call me a slut and my friend was like maybe he wasn't talking to you right so then he passes by again comes around me and then he's like <coughs> or like coughing all of these names and I was like is this really happening? I looked at my friend, I was like, did you, some, did you do something? Because I didn't do anything. I don't know what the hell is going on. So then that incident happened. Then I have another incident where I was at the movie theaters with my boyfriend at the time. I had a boyfriend and we were at the movies and then all of a sudden I have this guy and he just comes up to me and then he was like, you're a fucking slut. I... <laughs> like first of all I wasn't even allowed to go out like out to the movies let alone and I finally got time to go out and spend some time with my boyfriend and I get called a slut by this random dude and I was just kind of like like is this really happening am I tripping you know I just I got stuck and then I look at the guy and then I was like excuse me and then he's like you fucking whore excuse the language okay he was like you effing whore I can't believe you're at the movie theaters with some guy and then like my ex-boy well my boyfriend at the time he's looking at me and he's like do you know this guy why the hell are you like why is he just coming up to you, you know so then he like got into it with him and he was just like I don't know what the fuck is going on, but something's something's going on. And then he was like, F you, you're a effing so-and-so. Like he in front of like everybody at the movie theaters. And I'm just kind of like, oh my god, what the hell is going on? Like I I was so just like beyond disbelief. Like I could not believe that this was happening to me. I couldn't even stay there anymore to watch the movie like I was just so scared I was so paranoid I was like I need to tell my sister to come pick me up right now because this is not okay so then that ended up kind of happening so then I get into an argument with my boyfriend and he's like who was that why was he calling you a slut obviously he must have been doing something with him or you know him I was like I don't even know who he is like I did not know what the hell was going on so then I get MySpace. So I had MySpace kind of like on and off. Um, I would kind of have it and then I would deactivate it and then I would have it and I would deactivate it. So then I got MySpace back again and I started getting messages from like girls and they were like, if you message my boyfriend one more time, I swear to God, I'm going to beat your ass. And then I was like getting so many hate messages. I was like, like I do. <laughs> I seriously was just so confused okay so confused so then finally after like having all of these different altercations that were happening with like random girls that were like trying to beat me up and having all these like things with men trying to like cuss me out like I didn't know what what was going on like I really didn't so then one day I get a phone call from a friend of mine and then she was like, did you know that you have a fake profile on MySpace? I was like, I have a fake profile on MySpace. And she was like, yeah. And you're following like practically half of the guys here in town. And I was like, 
what the fuck? I was like, I have a MySpace and this is my MySpace. But because I didn't have a MySpace at the time when all of that was happening, I didn't know what was going on. Everybody assumed that that was my real page, but they were just my pictures from previous MySpaces that I had already activated. So I was like, how in the world, you know? So then I'm like, you know, lurking through the page on MySpace and conversations with like guys and they were like oh you're so sexy and then I was like yeah I'm so fucking sexy come get it like <laughs> I was like shit that I would never even like say was like being posted live for like everybody to say it and like I had so many random guys like I like there was a picture on there and then it was like 50 guys on there just like commenting like no girls like no girls whatsoever like every so random there was like a few girls there but for the most part it was like all dudes so i was tripping i was like this happened for i want to say maybe like a year or two that this myspace thing was going on so it was accumulated around time like this shit was hard like this person was legit spending night and day like catfishing men with my pictures but it just happened to be that they were all the guys from my hometown so they would see me in the street and then they would like call me names and tell me that i was like apparently a whore bag i was so freaking like i couldn't believe what was happening like i messaged tom and i was like you need to delete this profile i don't know who this is like i spent almost six months trying to figure out what the hell was going on so i went through like people's pages and like guys that i would like message like i would comment and i'd be like just so you know this isn't me this is my real profile and yada 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 like i would like sit there and spend time like just going back to these guys to let them know that i that wasn't me like i was trying to protect my image you know like and it's not even so much image but like you know it's hard enough in the town that i am for girls to be known to be like little sluts and stuff so it's like my mom raised me differently like i'm not one to just be i've only had two boyfriends and it was my ex-boyfriend and my husband you know so i had like guys that i would talk to and stuff but for the most part i was never like around like that so i was just i couldn't believe that my reputation was being ruined on social media so finally one day i get a phone call from a really good friend of mine and she's like hey um are you still talking to junior and then i was like who the fuck is junior you know and then i was like i don't know who junior is i have a boyfriend and then she was like i knew it she's like i had a feeling that you weren't but he was bragging about it and he was over here telling him telling her boyfriend that i was like sending him naked pictures of me and then i was like oh my god I was like who the fuck is this I was like I don't know who I don't know I don't know who this person is I was like can you please tell him to message me to text me give him my real number tell him to text me so I can get in contact with him and then he, she was like yeah 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 so then I messaged that guy junior and then I was like hey just so you know I'm not the person you've been talking to I don't know who you've been talking to but what's going on you know and then he was like well i've been talking to you for like almost six months now and you know i've been wanting to meet you but you're always busy and all this stuff and i was like no bro like you're not talking to me <laughs> you're talking to somebody else i was like can you send me the phone number of the person you've been talking to and then he was like this is all weird to me like okay whatever you know so then i was like send me everything like send me conversations send me the pictures that you've seen me naked please send me everything okay so i was like okay um i'm like reading through conversations and it's so weird because it's me like it's legitimate me not the naked pictures but like the conversations like it sounded just like me that it was scary like little shit of me being like oh my god really oh huh, how funny lol you're so funny like my sayings that i normally say often were all in the conversation i was having a whole conversation with this guy like i would normally have with like a normal person that i'm trying to get to know like i was telling him stories that had happened to me like incidents that were going like it was so scary beyond disbelief like i was like looking at my sister and i was like 
is it weird that it sounds like me like it really does sound like I'm the person he's texting and my sister was like what the fuck dude this has to be somebody you know how do they know all of these things I don't get it you know so then I was like well I need to fucking real figure out whose number that is you know so then he texts me the number so then I call it from my cell phone as I call it from my cell phone a name pops up on my contact list and ta-da it's a really good friend of mine that I've known my whole life since I was born because we were literally born right next to each other our moms were comadres and we grew up together he knew everything about me like everything I shared the most personal the most everything with him and he was pretending to be me on social media so as soon as that happened I call him and I was like what the fuck is going on how dare you like pretend to be me are you psycho like are you psychotic like is there something wrong with you I don't get it you know and then he was like it was just a joke it was just a joke blah 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 it wasn't a fucking joke because I for a very very long time after that people still believe that it was me and I was so so sad and the reason being is because so many things happened so at the end I ended up tying like everything together for my 14th for my 15th birthday so this was after no 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 my 14th birthday sorry I was so close to him that for my 14th birthday he threw me a birthday party and it was a surprise party and I wasn't gonna go because I was tired I was working at the flea market at the time so if anybody's ever worked at the flea market the swap me I don't know what you guys call it wherever you guys are from but if you've ever worked at the flea market you work from like five in the morning to like six o'clock at night so you're exhausted I was so tired I wanted to just go to sleep but it was my birthday and he was like I threw I'm throwing you a party come on come on come on just come so then I was like okay you know I'll go to my freaking party so I show up and I'm in a room with about 25 guys okay so i walk in with my best friend so we're both walking in and then i was like i do not know about this party why are any of our friends here and then she was like i don't know he planned it last minute and he just told me to bring you so tell me why this party wasn't my birthday party this party was so i can meet all of the guys that i've been talking to on instagram and i didn't even know i'm not on instagram on myspace and i didn't even know i was like walking around like fresh meat like freaking carne was walking through and all these guys were just like tragandome you know like i was just so like i didn't i didn't think about it like at that moment because this was before this was before i knew anything about the whole myspace thing so i put put it together once i figured everything out so i'm like walking in there and like all these guys were like hey so how you been blah 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 and then i was like oh i don't know you why are you talking to me you know so i was there for like 10 minutes and then I called my sister and I was like, I don't know what's going on, but you need to pick me up. So then he's, my friend, he's telling me, he's like, why are you leaving? And then I was like, uh, none of my friends are here. And then he's like, I know these are all my friends. You know, I just invited them because a lot of your friends couldn't come. So I wanted to throw you something. And then I was like, yeah, with a bunch of dicks. Like, <laughs> what am I supposed to do with that? Like, I, I know, you know, so I ended up leaving. I told my sister and I was like, it was so weird. Sorry, my camera stopped in the middle of that. So yeah, so I was like, this is not happening. So my sister was like, what happened? And I was like, I don't know. I was in a party with a bunch of dudes and I didn't know anybody. So I don't know why I'm here. And then she was like, that's weird, you know? So that was that. That was, a, that was another thing that happened. And then at the end, I ended up tying everything together. But let me tell you that this followed me for a really long time. Like for a really long time, a lot of guys probably even still to this day, probably people see me and they're like, oh, that's that's slut. When she was 14 over there sending naked pictures to everybody but it ended up being that he had a really good friend i don't even know her name i think it was like diana or brianna you little breezy yeah i know your fucking name i knew that you were the one sending pictures about me to everybody else and she was the one sending the naked pictures so we used to people used to tell us that we looked alike because i look like everybody like <laughs> apparently i fucking look like everyone but People used to tell us that we looked that we looked alike. 
I recognized her from the second that they sent me that picture. You know, it's when she showed when he showed me the pictures, uh, that guy Junior, when he showed me the pictures that were in the conversation in the text message, I recognized her from the get go, and I was like that freaking little breezy. So I like messaged her, and then I was like, "You're disgusting! How dare you!" Like I got into this whole altercation with this girl because she was sending pictures, and then she was like, "I wasn't sending shit. You're a dirty little slut." Blah blah blah, and then I was like. How dare you? I was like, let's confirm fucking beauty marks right now because I have one in Minalga, okay? I have a freaking beauty mark on my ass. Like, let's compare that shit. But I wasn't trying to even get into it. I knew that I didn't do anything. I knew that I was not doing anything, but it was more because of a reputation, you know? You work so hard for people to see you a certain way and it's like little shit like this just get ruined. So how I mentioned that this followed me for a really long time was because when I was 17, I started working at GameStop. I was working there for almost a year and then we had a guy that came in and he was new and then he was like hey I know you from somewhere and then I was like no you don't and then he was like I know you let me try to figure out where I know you from and then I was like it didn't click to me about the MySpace thing by this time like I had already forgotten about everything I was like whatever about it he was like I know where I know you from I know you from MySpace and then I was like, oh my god, is this really happening? And then I was like, no you don't. I was like, that was not me, you are talking to a dude. And then he was like, nah, I, I know it was you, you know? So then I was like, it fucking wasn't me, dude. Like, I'm telling you, it was not me. And then he would not believe it. He kept pushing it and kept pushing it and kept pushing it and kept fucking pushing it. And then we were both ringing up because it was two cashiers. So then I'm like on one cashier and I'm ringing people their video games and then he's like on the other side. And then he's, I have a customer and then he's talking to me and then he was like, I know it was you because you sent me naked pictures. And then I was like, <laughs> like I was so, like I looked at him and then I looked at my customer and then I was like ready to pass out. And then I was like, dude. You didn't fucking see anything of me. Like, do you want me to take my clothes off right now? It was not me, okay? Like, I don't know who the fuck you were talking to, but it was not me. And then I was just, like, so embarrassed, you know, because it was loud. Like, he said it loud to where my customer could hear, and he was like, I saw naked pictures of you. And then I was like, okay. I was like, did you see the face? Did you see, or did you just see hair? Did you just see like nalgas and boobs? Like, please enlighten me and tell me what you saw because it wasn't me. And that whole thing happened. So I told my boss what had happened and I told him that it was so inappropriate what he did. And yeah, I snitched on his ass and I was like, I don't want to work with him. I don't want to be on the shift with him. He is so disrespectful. I already explained to him a hundred million times. Do you want me to give you that guy's phone number so you can tell him to send you the number of the girl that you've been talking to because it wasn't me. And they had us like talk and then he apologized or whatever the case may be. But by that point, I was already done. I was like, I cannot deal with you. Like, I just told my boss, I don't want to work with him. So he ended up getting fired and I was like, well, you shouldn't be talking shit. But he did get fired and I, I mean, I stayed at my job. I stayed with, you know, GameStop for three years. So, so in case you guys are wondering, I completely stopped talking to my friend that I knew for so many years and that we practically grew up together. I stopped talking to him completely, um, you know, exited him out of my life and I wanted nothing to do with him. When he, you know, when I told him, like, he was like, it was just a joke. I wanted him to see how much it affected me and I told him it's not something you do to a friend. If you wanted to go talk to dudes, then you fucking do that shit. Don't use my picture and especially make me look like I'm this thirsty girl online trying to, you know, get guys' attention for whatever reason that you're trying to do. Now, I do, we are, we're not friends, we're not, but he follows me on social media and I have him like on Snapchat, like I've seen like how he's been and stuff, but yeah, I mean, he literally ruined my reputation for so many years and it was really hard to get a lot of that respect back um a lot of people um after a while they knew what happened and i i had made a post about it on my myspace when i had the time that 
it wasn't me and I commented on that page and went on a lot of profiles and just kind of cleared the air up with a lot of the guys that I was supposedly talking to but um yeah there was probably a lot of people that um were affected by this situation <laughs> so if I tried to talk to your man or if I sent a naked picture to your man or if I led you on and made you fall in love I'm sorry but it wasn't me it was a dude <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed this little story that I shared for you guys um give it a thumbs up if you did let me know what you guys think if anything like this has ever happened to you i know now with social media i'm kind of all over the place people are always like making fake profiles about me but i have my profile so i know that people know that it's not really me so i really don't care about that but let me know that's ever happened to you or if you've had an incident but your girl was stalked and slut at 14. love you guys <laughs>